Coming to the Warriors from Burlington, Ontario, where he suited up for Nelson High School, a perennial football powerhouse, Chuck was a heavily recruited linebacker that was able to crack the dress roster as a true freshman on a veteran-laden team. Known to his teammates as Chuck Wagon, Walsh transitioned to the defensive end position where he became a dominant force as a multi-year starter on a very talented defensive unit. Chuck was a ferocious tackler. He used his size and athleticism to wreak havoc in offensive backfields. Gaining valuable experience from those two championship teams, Walsh had its penultimate season in 2001. That year, he was second in the nation with eight sacks and his 33 solo tackles ranked him in the top 10. Chuck Wagon was named both the Warriors and the OUA's Lineman of the Year. He was selected as a first-team OUA All-Star, a first-team All-Canadian, and was a finalist for the J.P. Metris Award for Outstanding Down Lineman. Walsh is fifth all-time in Warriors history of 14 career sacks. Chuck was a fifth-round selection in the 2002 CFL Draft by the Toronto Argonauts, where he was named Argos Rookie of the Year. In 2004, he went on to win a great cup with the Double Blue. Chuck graduated from Waterloo with an honors BA in recreation and leisure studies. Good evening, everybody. I want to thank the uh, committee um, for the opportunity to say some words about uh, my good friend, uh, Chuck Walsh, AKA the Chuck Wagon. Chuck Walsh, AKA Chuck Wagon. I gave him that name. Don't anybody else tell you any different. We all joined uh, the Warriors in, in 97 on a great team and uh, it was a uh, Complete stack team, and Chuck was one of the very few uh, rookies that year to actually dress and get on the field. Those of you who know Walshie best know that sometimes he can uh, appear to be sort of lost in his own head or off in La La Land somewhere, uh, but he's not lost. He's thinking, and that's Walshie. Walshie and I have a pretty rich history together from playing uh, football at Waterloo starting in 1997 uh, to playing together with the Argos to going on and being each other's wedding parties to having our kids grow up together and vacationing together. Lots of stories to pull from. Some shareable and some maybe not so shareable in this environment. One day when uh, Chuck was getting frustrated because the uh, the scout uh, scout offense was, uh, was roasting uh, the defense pretty good, he decided to uh, hit the quarterback late uh, to fire up the defense and that uh, resulted in Chuck and I getting into a little bit of a dust up and uh, actually turned into a pretty good Donnybrook between everybody. And uh, after everything was uh, said, said and done, I know uh, Coach Shree, uh, you know, deep down loved it. Um, he uh, loved seeing uh, Chuck all fired up and getting everybody going. We moved him from linebacker in 99 where he was kind of behind a couple all Canadians and put him a defensive end and it was like the bell went off. That was a big year for Chuck. He he really came out of his shell. Um, he he uh, moved from linebacker to defensive end and, and uh, really made an impact for our team. Uh, we ended up winning uh, obviously the Yates Cup in 99 and Chuck was a big part of that. His ability to be methodical and calculated and analytical during the practice week. And then on game day, bring the heart and the emotion required to perform at a high level in football. That, that's the key right there. And that's what Walshy does best. The combination of those two sides uh, of the athlete. He had the, the want to, to get after the quarterback, game changing defensive end. And then as far as, far as the teammate goes, I, I generally just leave him alone uh, because I know He's in his head thinking during the week, and on game day, he's ready to, to, to rip some people apart. Uh, and that's what makes his performance special every game day. You can see that uh, he had aspirations uh, for bigger things. And uh, in our final year, fifth year, Chuck showed up at camp. Uh, he was at a different level. Um, he uh, just was totally prepared to, uh, to really make an impact that year, and he did. Um, he had done a lot of work, uh, you know, in the off season, and and uh, you know he was coming off the edge. Uh, he was almost untouchable. Well, she consistently made big plays, uh, and I think probably his abilities were were best typified in the game against Western in two thousand and one, uh, when we went down to play Western at their homecoming, beat them twenty two to three. They kicked a forty yard field goal after a turnover, uh, and that was all the scoring they did. And Walsh, he was everywhere. He was absolutely everywhere. He ran ruckshaw over that Western offense that day, forcing fumbles, sacks. And I, I just can't get the image out of, my, out of my brain when I think about that game of him coming off the edge hard, great technique, and coming in and, and nailing that quarterback several times. Couldn't even tell you that quarterback's name because he's a quarterback from Western, so it's irrelevant. was an all-star, all-Canadian, Mattress Trophy nominee. Um, 
he uh, the Argos picked him up. Uh, he went on to have a great career with the Argos, winning a winning a great cup. 2002, as rookies with the Argos, we went on a Western road trip to play the Lions in Vancouver, and then on to play the Eskimos in Edmonton. And uh, right off the the bus from the airport in Vancouver, Chuck's luggage was missing, and uh, no news from the airport. Uh, you know, a couple days go by, he's wearing the same clothes, getting a little bit tired of this. Play the game against uh, the Lions and then move on on another flight to Edmonton. Still no bags, still no clothes. Um, and then sure enough, of course, you get on the flight to go from Edmonton back to uh, Toronto. And we were sitting in our seats together and uh, on comes the parade. Mike Gaucher, Orlando Steinauer, Mike Morielli, Leroy Blue, all these vets wearing all of Chuck's clothes. Chuck's gone on in business as well to be extremely successful and he has a great family and he's a great father and you know it's it's just great to see that uh, you know it's 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 all of who Chuck is so it's uh, incredible to look back on a guy that uh, you know he played against every day and got under your skin but you, you know uh, deep down you know he's, he's a guy who's when he's on your side and on your team he's a great friend. Chuck it's been a pleasure watching you grow from a shaved head rookie at Waterloo in 97 uh, on to an all-Canadian to a rookie of the year at the Argos, onto a great cup champion, and then on to a, a successful professional career after sport, and then on to your biggest accomplishment yet, being a, a great husband and wonderful father to two amazing girls. Chuck deserves this honor. He was a, he's a great warrior and still continues to be a great warrior. Very well deserved to be in the Ring of Honor as well. Walshie, congratulations on your induction into the Waterloo Warriors Ring of Honor. You deserve it.